Thank you. Just waiting for. <laughs> soap dispenser? I hear a soap dispenser. Someone washing their hands? I hear a soap dispenser going on somewhere. I don't know where it's at. Shut up! Uh, just waiting for to get the cue to get cranked and do this. Oh, you got big diarrhea. Of course, we got to do the sellout thing with a. Uh, I love starting these off with an ad at first. That makes the show complete. Is uh, so Mike, are you using a soap dispenser over there? Hell yeah, baby! That's the new way of doing it. Nice. Can soap I hear dispenser vaping? Can I hear it one more time? Yeah, you gotta love that shit. What does everybody think about this new header for the page for this show? The show's been in existence now for like <laughs> 20 years, and it finally got a freaking page. I can't oh, yeah. believe this shit. It cost me about a month's pay, but hey, it's all good, I guess. That shit looks dope. But I do have something that's gonna really piss <laughs> Mark off here, I think. So if y'all are watching, here we go. Don't, don't, don't. Wow. Everybody's probably freaking out when they just seen that transition right there. But hey, it's pretty good, I think. So, what is going on, folks? It is the True of Vapor Show number 199. Holy shit, next week is episode 200. Do I have to do something special, I guess, just to keep in suit with everybody or not? Yep. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah, we got a little bit of a, a, little, a little bit, bit of, of a delay. delay. Well, there's just a bit of a delay, I guess, but... Do you see the feed? Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I'm going to go look now. That's that low-end shit. Wow. Hold on, I'm looking. I don't know. It seems to be keeping up pretty good the way I'm looking. What? I'm yeah, looking at both of them. Maybe I got to refresh. Why didn't show you? Oh, no. It's still Let's go to ST Vaps. You know what? I'm going to try this real oh, quick. It's just fixed, I think, but we're stuttering. It's clear now, but we're... Okay, well, hold on. We're, like, we're doing this. Yep, I'm going to do something here. It's always something, isn't it? Always something. Let's see if I can't bring it up. <sighs> do do. It looks like super clear, but we're a little robotic. Um, I'm about to, I'm about to fix that shit. I hope. Let's see yeah, what that is. Very robotic. What, do you have the frame? You don't have it at 60p, do you? Hell no. I hope not. But I just dropped the bit rate down. I was up a little bit high. I don't know how it went up that high. <laughs> I'm kind of waiting to catch up and see if I need to do any more adjustments here. Let me keep seeing if it's going to fix. Because, you know, here on Zoom, everything looks perfect. <gasps> I'm still waiting to see. Mm -mm -mm. Well, you know what, Mark? Take it away while I'm sitting here messing with this some more. <laughs> Hold on. God damn it. Yeah, I know. Oh! I have a new lotion I use. It's called Vape Lotion. It's for vapors. It's mm. by vapors for vapors. It is what it is. The new strawberry cream lotion. Are we live yet? I don't we, think so. Yeah. This is an awkward start of a show. It always is on this one for some reason. Are we still jitterbugging? Jitter nah, we're good. All right. Kind of. <laughs> it's doable. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I even dropped I dropped the bit rate some more. What's so, the framework? The 30? Yep, 30. Why the hell is it? I don't know. I Time did. for a new, new computer, SD. I guess so. I guess that's the final link to all this shit, isn't it? Yep. If you got to be in the game. Yep. The camera, there we go. Bam. Proton with the BTFC, we got the rudder with the BTFC, we got, oh, what is that called, uh, ST? Uh, that is the Orbit from Sense. 
And then that's the orbit, whatever. TF. Top fill. And then you got the. This is the iJoy one, I believe, right? Yeah. Yep. Got the. What should we call it? One, the Vupu one. And then we got Sense. They call <sighs> this a pod system. <laughs> Who's that? What is that? It's called the Magico. I think it's called. That's how you say it. Magico? Who's that from? Oh, not Sense. Uh, what should we call it? Horizon this. Tech. I I don't remember them having that one. Magico Pod System. Like, this is a pod? Really? I don't know. Uh, I got pretty much 12 milligrams nilakil and everything right now. So you're vaping 12 milligram in the BTFC RDAs? Nope. In the BTFC, we got some of the cookie from uh, Husan. Right? Yep, there we go. And then we got some of the strawberry of the one. You know what I'm about to try? <laughs> That's... Take it away, you fucking cross-eyed son of a bitch! Batman! Alright, motherfucker. I got a couple things here. Um, I'm vaping on, I'm actually vaping on the IQ pod system. I got the VFL, the VFL by Vupu, the one that looks like a football. I got my Orion pimped out by Signature Tips, the one by uh, Lost Bait. I got the Smoke Miko. We got that rolling on. I also got that new Bupu Drag pod system. Um, I got the Remit. We got this rolling on. Review coming soon on that. I got the Barrel by Day One or The One or however the hell you say the company's name. I already did a review on all this shit. Um, I got this one right here, the Smoke Novo. I got this, what what the hell? The Carrot by uh, Smoin. And I got this rocket ship looking thing by Okitel. And last but not least, you got to rep it by Boxer, Ginger Vapor. I have the big old light bulb right here hitting at 400 watts with the Valhalla RDA. And inside everything, I can't remember what I got inside nothing. So I know I got this one here. I got my mama's e-liquid. I got the honey oats. There you go. So much for promotion. Fuck it. We shouldn't title it the pod show. Or what? We talk about keeping it real. That's all I've been vaping on pod. So, damn, why you got <laughs> Take it away, Mike. Thank you, sir. Vaping on the uh, Yeehaw SX Mini M X Class, something like that, with the Rebirth RDA on top. Also vaping on the uh, Minikin 3S Rebirth RTA on top. Liquids in both of those. I have... Uh, RTA has Strawberry Crunch Tailored House, and the RDA has Taffy Splash in there. Also vaping on uh, the Turin Max with a Rebirth RDA. We got some uh, Sad Boy Cookie Shamrocks in there. We also got Topside Carbon, Recurve Duel. And uh, I think I also have Taffy Splash in there, which I do, yes. Some of that in there, too. Uh, what else do you vape it on, Mike? That's it. Uh, I might be also hitting off this. Uh, well, hit another Minikin with the Kelpie RTA. We got some uh, white peach or white grape. White grape. Superb in there. That's it. Take it away, Saint Vapes. All right. I think we've got this under control now. I went ahead and switched cams on there. I think that other cam just doing some funny shit on here. Are you on your webcam or now? I'm on the webcam now. It's fine? Yeah, I'm looking at the show and it seems to be perfect now. So then that yeah. Elgato thing is taking up too many like, Yeah, resources. it is. It's it's uh, putting a little bit of a lag on this system, so... It's uh, fucking dry, son. I'm on my webcam, too, so don't feel bad. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't look bad from what I'm looking at, or too bad, but whatever. Who gives a damn? But everything, we look to be at normal speed. I'm guessing everybody's hearing us good now. I think I'm going to do one more thing, though, here. Uh, I know everybody's pissed off. They're going, damn it, ST. Do, 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 do. Okay, 
Let me see. Dude, this little sense thing is actually really sweet. Oh, I'm vaping on that too. I forgot. It is I, really nice. I didn't even do a buffet, but I'm doing everything that everybody's doing on here. I'm vaping on that too. Yes. That, uh, that's all I'm vaping on right now. So. <laughs> oh, you do a matchy matchy with the shirt, huh? Yes, I am. <laughs> Look at that right there. That shit is fucking dope. Yeah. I like that. Man. So, we've got the one and only Batman has decided to join us again tonight. Uh, Mark is repping the <laughs> sidekick with the Nord. Dude, look how they look exactly the same. Well, dude, no, they don't. No, one's kind of like squared uh, just a little bit angled, and the other one's rounded. They look exactly the same. <laughs> well, they don't. That is the Nord. They don't look the same to me. No. They even, they even feel the same in your mouth. No, actually, and I'm going to say this because here it is right here. That is the Orbit. So that's the, the big boy, the sidekick. To me, the hit on this one is better than the smoke one because it's a little bit more restricted. Yeah, this one is like rounder feeling. It's a little bit more comfortable to hold in the Nord. Oh, so that means they're not the same. But they're the same. No, they're not. If they're different, they're different. You son of a bitch. I think they're the same. <laughs> uh, he almost got me there on that one. I was like, oh, shit. Uh, so, yeah, Batman's joining us tonight. Uh, I don't know. I've got my mind so mixed up now looking at shit on here. I apologize. I'm never prepared for anything, but... Man, this has been one of those weeks that I just can't be prepared. It's been too long of a week, and man, it's going to be such a longer week ahead. But it is what it is, I reckon. I get them. Yep. Ignored. You always got to do it. There's the sense pod. Here we go. See. Ain't that crazy? All right, but no, hold on. Have you taken a hit off? No, it doesn't work. It's not tight enough. Oh, so it's not the same. You know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not what? It's not tight enough. What do you mean it's not tight enough? Since the Nord is a tad bit bigger. I think I just broke something. Dude, either either I'm in a different dimension right now, or you're just babbling about some shit. What do you mean it's not tight enough? The, if the pod don't fit, he switched pods. Yeah, I switched pods. I'm not asking. I was asking the... The hit on it. Oh, the hit does seem a little bit better on the sense. Oh, okay. Right. Dude, you had me somewhere else right now. It's got like a harder hit. Well, well what I like about the sense one now, I, what I wish they would have done. It is nice. Uh, so when they made the side, where is the sidekick? Here's a sidekick right here. So you can tell the difference. <laughs> there is a bit of a I size don't... difference. What? Maybe the size? Well, this, this is the sidekick, and this is the Orbit. Both of them are Sense products. What the hell? The sidekick is the smaller one. Now, the sidekick had auto draw, which I love. And when I was talking to Michael with Sense, you know, the big thing I kind of pointed out that I've others pointed out also was changing it from low to strong. You had to do five quick hits on it. And I was like, dude, I don't like that right there. Well, that That's... was the blowjob pod, right? Yes. Thank so you. I said a lot of people are going to not really care for that right there. So, And he was like, well, when we do the next one, we're going to change that. But what they did, they did change it. But the thing is, it's no longer auto draw. You got to hit the button on this one. Now, I know a lot of people prefer buttons on these type of devices, but I'm still, at the end of the day, hardcore auto draw type person. But it's still a good vape on it. Uh, but this one, I've really been enjoying. This is pretty cool. Yeah, they vape good. Yep. What's up, Shake? Signature tips out there. What's going on, Kid Bass? What's, what's going on, brother? But, uh,. Yeah, as always, and I think it's going to stay that way for a while still. We're still pretty pod heavy out there. Not really. Uh, and I got two more pods coming. So I got like five yeah. pods I got to review so far, which is pretty sad. Yeah. Not me. I have no pods in the line. Actually, maybe one. Do you need some? 
No. I can show you some. <laughs> no, I'm loaded with uh, RD, Max, RDAs, RTAs. I got. Actually, I did the RTAs, right? Yeah. Let me ask you something. Uh, RDAs. Uh, Batman, when you're out there on the rig, what do you like to use more? A pod system or a big boy vape? <clears throat> This right here on the rig Sorry. has been the most trusted pod device that I use out there. The Orion, hands down. Like, I, I take pods with me. Um, like I said, I take so many with me because I give them away. But the one that I always have with me is the Orion. Um, it just, it, because out there we have a designated smoking area. So smokers and vapors, we have to share the same spot. So, you know, this is easy just to come, pull it out the locker, take a couple hits and keep on rolling. You know, that that job, the job that I do, it, it's go, go, go. You know, it's not like a factory where, let me take a coffee break. Nah, that shit ain't gonna happen. You know, you take a couple hits and keep your ass moving. Yeah. So to be honest with you, I mean, this, I, even though the stuff that I do take and like when we knock off work after, you know, when we get out and you know, I, like I'll try certain things, whatever I take here from the house, but I have to admit it. You know, th it's straight up. This thing right here is what I mainly use while I'm out there. Because it's more like just ease and convenience and all that. You can yeah. always have it in a pocket with you or like another mod's probably going to weight things down, I'm guessing. Yeah, I, I could probably see myself in the same situation, too, because... Typically, you don't have to really worry about something like this auto firing. Uh, and then two, you know, if you, like you say, you got a, what I would call a smoker's hole, but you got a designated smoking spot, you know, you can just walk up real quick, do your thing. And uh, I just, I, when I, I usually just vape in the office and when I vape in the office, I use the SX mini X class. So I could annoy everybody with the pump. <laughs> 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 fucking thing, man. So, it's not like a fucking robot. So last night we're all kind of sitting around bullshitting, and I guess Mike really got to using this device a little bit more. And it's every time he's taking a hit on it, we're hearing a rrr, a rrr. And we're like, well, how in the hell is that doing that? And it's just like, I guess, so you said every time you hit the fire button on it, it automatically squonks it. Yeah. It's got a control depending on your wattage on how much liquid. So you adjust it. So it's basically you have to just figure it out. So like I'm vaping 110 watts and I have the pump action at 60. Yeah. So that's a number. I guess it goes from zero to 100. So I have it at 60. So. Let's say you're vaping at 70 watts, for example, then you would drop it down to maybe like 45. So obviously the hotter the vape, the more liquid you're using. So the more liquid you're going to need to replace, you know. Yeah, Have you true. noticed uh, the pump, pump, like, take a lot of battery juice? No, I haven't noticed. Yet. No. But it's a uh, trial and error, too. It's getting, uh, figuring it all out. And the one thing that sucks about it is the puff counter resets when you take the batteries out. Oh, damn, really? Yep. That's kind of gorgeous. Yeah. I, I need to keep an eye out now on this one until the battery dies. So I'm trying to figure out how long, 110 watts with the pump, how many hits I could take before the batteries go dead. Have you uh, have you seen a price tag on that one yet? No. What they're going to... Okay. I'm assuming it's probably going to be around the same price as what the... Uh, <laughs> The yeah, one. this one here is a test sample. It's not for review. They actually messaged me and they asked me, please don't review it. We're oh. going to send you a review copy. This is just, they want my feedback Yeah. on it and what I think. I mean, uh, <coughs> the only complaint I have is that the pump is kind of loud, which that's yeah. the way pumps are. You're not going to... Yeah, that's probably... You know, there's a way you could silence that shit, but... but uh, functionality it's been fucking awesome well, I, know I don't you... it's like you're just vaping it's like i'm vaping a, a an rta an 8 ml rta that's what it's like a tank yeah this is like i'm vaping on a pod system it's almost like i'm vaping on an rda pod system <laughs> damn you know because the tank itself is like a pod you just pop that out down There was a question in chat. 
Then it's kind of off topic. Eight ml of e-liquid goes in there. After you fill it, you just slip it in like that and push up, and that's it. What's funny is, is that thing doesn't even look like it holds eight mils as small it is. Of course, camera can be deceiving there a little bit. Yeah, but, camera's deceiving. That's yeah. what they say. Eight. I don't know. I haven't tested it, or I don't have manuals or packaging. Yeah. But I, if I remember correctly, I think they said eight. Mark, what is the question? I think I lost the question. What do you think the question was? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, why don't you find it? <laughs> it? It must be something interesting if it caught your eye. No, it wasn't interesting at all. Oh, okay. You just wanted to interrupt me? No, no, I thought we were I thought we were done. Never mind. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Rachel Manzini oh, you. just asked, what are some good salts that actually have some good flavor? Now, I can tell you this. All of the uh, the Jam Monster ones have i mean they're good i mean you you can taste it it's not like flavor kind of muted type nick salts some people taffy. actually think they're a little too sweet but taffy splash nick salts are good yeah there's some good ones out there but i know for a fact i've been i've used a hell of a lot of i'm actually kind of back on it myself but because i'd gotten away from it a little bit Batman, you stumbled across any Nick salts that's I've been your... off Nick salts. I've been actually using the Paradigm e liquids, the 50 50 blends, 18 milligram. I mean, yes. and it's been working. It's been, I actually feel better too. Um, you, I didn't realize um, the difference that it would be between Nick salts and just regular 50 50 uh, regular e liquids, and, and there, there actually is. Well, I feel like there is. So I've actually been on high nick. Yeah. Uh, same shit. And I no. find it way better. Adrian asks, what's some good menthol nick sauce? Now, that's one I cannot answer because I don't mess with anything menthol. So menthol is just something that's never been, even just regular vape. I've just never messed with menthol. Uh, yeah, sure thing, Rachel. Uh, definitely those right there I know for a fact like I said that's been a, a big favorite of mine so and they've got a few different flavors on those and I'm certain there's probably other people in chat that can chime up to that uh, amateur vapor what's going on question I recently acquired the Orion and the Caliburn salts make me gag uh, <laughs> shut up Mark that's sexy I only have one fifty fifty juice. Is it a big deal if I use a seventy thirty? What does it do? Just wear out the pod quicker. Now I know for a fact in the Caliburn you can run a seventy thirty in that. Uh I believe you can too in the Orion. Yep. Yeah. I think so. So either one of those you can do on that. Uh if it's an extremely sweet juice, it's going to kill the pot quick. It's going to kill yeah, the pot. Yeah, it will definitely kill it. So, um, so the, it with the good comes the bad in a situation like that. So, the the reason they recommend fifty fifty because it's thinner and it can work its way into the coil a lot easier. Yeah, I mean thirties thicker juice. And if they were to use, well, the 7030s is just thicker. But, I mean, the, the way that, you know, back in the day we would thin them out is just um, grab you a cup of really hot water and stick the whole bottle of e-liquid down in there. Just let the heat, and it'll thin it out to a certain point. But for all of that, just go with the 50-50. Yeah. But I know for a fact, because uh, I actually had somebody email me on the Caliber and talking about they were using a 7030 on theirs, and they were saying, man, it is awesome. So... And of course, you know, even on the Orion, if you've really messed with it, if you actually have the DNA Go Orion, you know, you can go into East Scribe and bump up your stuff in there. So, um, but yeah, it's going to keep coils quicker. So, uh, do, 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 what else have we got going on? Yeah really things have still been kind of slow i haven't i think the only thing i've gotten in recently and y'all are gonna love this because all the crew got it (sighs) (laughs) 
Oh, you got it too? Oh, yeah. That was my big haul of, what, last week or something like that. That and uh, I know I've got, I'm certain that uh, Batman's got it too because I think you're on the same group. Uh, I think Steam Crave just sent out that uh, light RTA. So that's, that's supposed to hit the door at any point in time. I know the recurve duel will be coming sooner or later. Uh, thank you for the donation there, Leo Barry. He says, I rate this show five out of five. Thank you very much. There we go. <laughs> five out of five. Apparently, when Batman did his video the other day, he also rates his shit five out of five on there. So I don't know where they get this stuff from. But hey, I'm just, I'm, I, I was I was told to do the five rating by Mark. That Mark, the one that told I don't know why. I, I, I had to tell Matt to suck my mind. He was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Five out of five, and I'll, ask Megan. Anybody got questions about the five rating? Mark is. I did not start the five rating. Just clearing it up. I'm just taking no. it from somebody else. Yep. Um, By the way, chat tonight is five out of five. It is that. <laughs> it is definitely that. Oh, damn! Look at that shit. Cotton candy in a bag. Oh, they got it in a bag. Dude. This is the stuff you use, Mark? Yes, he used that shit religiously right there. This this uh, I was given at the UK. So is this like a UK company? Let me see. Let me see. Can I see the bag? Oh, yeah, that I, is it. They've changed out of those little canister things. Those guys, man, they're shady people. Oh, I, yeah? Why you say that? I, I, is that like I, they always emailed me and said things like, oh, we want to thank you so much for using our cotton all the time, and we want to invite you here, and blah, 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 and here. Well, apparently they don't think too much of you, do they? The reason I love the cotton, aside from it being good cotton, is I used to like the canisters. They were really convenient. Yeah. Now they're in bags. Like, oh. See, I remember when Mark was hardcore into them, and he used to have that shit piled up behind him. And Mark had sent me something one time, and I said, dude, I said, you gotta let me try one of those cottons, because you're just like, I'm thinking it's something magical or some shit, and he sends it. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't like, there they are. Yeah. I just like the, the canister that comes in. That's actually a newer one, because it used to look different than that. Yeah. But. And then I got hooked on the pre-made wicks, and now that's it. I'm done. Yeah. I'm lazy as hell. You know what? That's what is funny now that you now that you just said that. I'm certain there's probably a lot of people in chat too. Has pretty much everybody just switched over to this stuff now? It doesn't even have to be this particular brand, but just the shoelace type wicks. They've made life so easy now that you don't yeah. even have to sit there. Other than Mike, I know Mike still likes to do his little pads and all that kind of I stuff. Use but whatever I reach for, I grab. Yeah. Uh, I still think that I still think they need to start offering different sizes. They just have that one size, and sometimes it's too small or too big. That's true, because like the Watofo stuff, I remember because I still got all of it. It wouldn't fit in anything but like a three millimeter and up. You know, so you couldn't, you know, which basically that's all I vape anyway. But even on some of those, it was a little tight getting it in there. So the only thing I don't like about like uh, uh, cotton, the cotton one or the uh, what's the other one? Firebolt. Yeah. Is that the initial first time you put liquid on the cotton, it like beads up on it. Oh. It doesn't soak it. Don't absorb it right away. Don't absorb yeah. right away, which is fucking annoying. Yeah, but I'm I'm certain there we're at a point now that damn near everybody's using those just for the ease of use now. Firebolt, actually, uh, Andrea, you're right. I saw that too. Firebolt is gonna have all different sizes now. Oh damn! You actually have a package that's gonna have all different sizes in it. What I'm saying. That'll be cool. Puff cotton pads for me, damn. Puff puff pass. There it is. That's one thing I have not tried yet is the Firebolt, and I know I've heard a lot of good things, but I, I don't know if you want to call it old school or what, but kind of at the end of the day, unless it's just some crazy-ass cotton, to me, cotton is cotton almost. I agree. They, they got this stuff, too. 
Yeah. That's, yeah, that stuff is good, Mike. I have no clue who sent this to me or how Coil I got Clout. this. Jonathan had to send you that. Who's Jonathan? From Coil Clout. Yes, I think that's what it was. Then. Yeah, yes, Coil Clout. He, he swamped me with a shitload of it. There you go. Coil, CoilCloud.com. Yep. Right there. What's my coupon code there? MV15. There MV15. it is. CoilCloud.com. It's all about to him. Hey, it's funny that you just mentioned a coupon code, and uh, the coupon code king just hopped in here. Oh, right. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't I see him in chat? He's in there. Uh, uh, you got him blocked. What's up, Ronnie? I uh, missed him. I think Mike's got him blocked, so that's You're right. behind in chat, I think. Oh, okay. Damn, I must be. Because, yeah, he he commented. Uh... Yeah, most of all the cotton to me. Other, there's been like a couple of brands, and it's the brands that would have like the. Uh, it almost, I forget what it was. What is that one we got along that Texas tough shit? Oh, that from the, the child molester. Yeah, that shit was kind of like, that shit was different right there. That was like, that was like, the stuff that comes out of a pillow. Yeah, it had almost that brownish tint to it, like it had been sitting in a muddy river for a little while or some shit. But yeah. Kendo also is pretty good cotton. Kendo cotton? Yeah, which one yep. was good? The gold or what was it called? The gold. The gold was the best to me on that. I had a couple of jars, and I, I must have gave it away when I cleared off the coil building table. Was Mike, you remember the, the Pima cotton, the strand that... It came, I forget the company that made it, but they came in the little glass jars with the black lid. The label was black and red. Mm. It was ex it was expensive. We're talking about maybe three years ago. Oh, yeah, I don't remember that. I don't know if I ever got that. But that cotton, it was, it was well, Pima cotton. And, dude, that shit was very, very absorbent. It was really, really good. And I'm, that's what I've been looking for because I know I had, a, I had about maybe six jars on the table. I don't see them over there. But that was a very good cotton. Yeah. What's this? I don't even know what this is. Slacker wicks? What? Slacker cotton, it says. Oh, that's a Well, that's deep. perfect for you. Slacker yep. slacker for the slacker. <laughs> I know Coyology, they have the wicks, and they're making theirs longer. Yep. They, were, they were used to be a little too short, and I said, you guys got to make them longer, man. So they're going to be making them longer now. Oh, in your no, and just the the ones they sell in little tin. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, they were very short. Yeah, they were good for certain, uh, like RDAs, but for something like, for example, the drop where you need longer wick. Yeah, it was just too much, too short. Didn't they extend the ones out in the uh, in your RTA that you were doing? Yep. You you did hear what I said? Was doing. <laughs> was doing yeah, here we go mark is no longer involved with that project anymore uh <laughs> omir has went out of business <laughs> it's untrue and it's it's a done deal now so i hope y'all got one if you got one hold on to it it might be a collector's item in some third world country pretty soon <laughs> so no actually it's been doing pretty good uh i know i was like searching through videos on bulk rta just out of curiosity because i know that it was kind of a it seemed like a little bit of a slow start of folks getting reviews out but I, i'm starting to run across like you know people that you would have never heard of that you know maybe that's just getting into this or you know or again that i've just never heard of so i'm starting to see a lot more of them surface now yeah, someone messaged me yesterday on Instagram and said that this store in the UK is selling bulks. I'm like, how the hell are they selling the bulk when it's not, you know, whatchamacallit, TBD, whatever. And I shared the link, and then this morning they were all sold out. I'm like, oh, that's pretty sweet. Oh, nice. I don't know if he bought them from, I don't know how he got them, but. And yeah. I, I would just like to say, too, I know for a fact that neither me nor Mike have received our retail version yet so we can give y'all the viewing public yeah our uh, updates <laughs> exactly i like to apologize to everyone for deceiving people in my uh bulk review 
I did deceive everyone by saying that I will update you all. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Here so, we go. Maybe, maybe within the year, before the year is out, we'll be able to do some updates on it. But <laughs> I got a weird feeling that the issues I was having with the bulk and the DNA 250C was the red O-rings. <laughs> that is a good possibility, right? I got there. a weird feeling it was a red O-ring. I was yeah. promised black O-rings, and oh, good luck with that. I was promised them fucking years ago. No, you guys are getting getting sent one out this weekend. Okay, yeah, you said that three weeks ago. <sighs> but uh, as, as, weeks ago. Uh, as Kid Bass says, Mike Rebirth RT is great on flavor, like the Rebirth RT. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can. I, I'll second that. What Kid Bass says, you know, with the Rebirth RTA, that is the perfect RTA at the moment. The one that come out the past couple months, um, hands down. I picked the Rebirth over any other ones that I've fucking reviewed. The other ones with the red O rings and shit, man. Nah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. So, Batman, I'm. I'm not that I don't want your shit, but. Things have been a little hectic lately. You don't watch your shit. <laughs> I'm trying to go about things a nice way, but what was your what was your thoughts on the passage? I know you got your hands on that one. It's five out of five. <laughs> did, did you do the full five out of five on it? Look, you do a full inhale. Five out of five. That's a five. <laughs> Ouch. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a five. Through the nose. <laughs> Eventually, someone's going to know what we're doing. <laughs> That's a five? Yeah. The, what they call the babe? <laughs> <laughs> That's a five. <laughs> you got to do French in hell? Is that right? No, it's got to come out of your mouth and up your nose. Man, fuck all that. It's a five anyway, even though I yeah. can't do it. It's you got to also do ghost. Yep. Oh, the ghost? What the fuck is the ghost? Just pretend to do something. Fuck it. Thank you, Stan. There you go. The Keen is awesome. Is that a ghost? That that was a ghost, I think. Yep, that is. I think that is a ghost. Anyway, what what pot system are you pot. using? Right here, I'm using the mini rebirth. The, the mini rebirth. <laughs> <laughs> the, the top side dual mini. This is the dual eighteen three fifties, and mm. I actually was able to put the. Uh, Passage RDA on top of it. Look how fucking tiny that looks in his hands. I know. That does look fucking micro sized. Dude, and that's I, like that, that mini lipo boxer. It, it's just a one S lipo uh, in there. I there think I, I think I've heard more comments about the boxer in his hand. Cause hold on, even me doing that doesn't look nothing like with him doing that. <laughs> <laughs> and then no, and I got the Valhalla. RDA on top. I know. He got Sasquatch hands. Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's like a fucking a shaved Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what the funny thing is. You say Sasquatch, and if my little girl was down here, you would ask her, "Who do I look like?" She'll tell you, Harry. Harry. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell yeah. <clears throat> We watched, uh, that's right? an old that's an old movie man we ran, we ran by that movie on netflix um a couple months ago and i put it on and you know my wife was like that's daddy you know the green eyes the big smile and she was like that's daddy and my little girl was like nope 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 but then at towards the end when he goes to sleep and starts snoring my little girl's like yep mommy you're right that's daddy <laughs> that's daddy so now ever since that she, she'll come up just to be a smart ass Hey Harry, how you doing? I'm oh, the fuck out of here. Oh, new nickname Harry. We're gonna start calling him Harry. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Somebody was asking me what this is. This is the Orbit TF. They'll be hitting the market here pretty soon. Uh, yeah, Shake, you're right about that too. So when Batman got the 18650 SQ, I mean that looks like a little, like somebody's pager in his hand. That tiny that looks Look at it. It looks like a little. <laughs> it looks like a cigarette lighter in his hand. I got the other one right And here. the 217 still looks small as all. Yeah, that's just crazy. It is fucking tiny. But when he put that big old hand on Mark's head at MVE, I mean. His fingers just swallowed his head up. So, I mean, it I only makes sense. 
Well, you couldn't have known. You couldn't see anything because his hand was over your face. I got a pretty big head. <laughs> Uh, that, that's why I'm saying I know you've got a large head, and you know he still covered it up. So, but it is what it is. So is it nothing but uh, is it nothing but pod systems mark that's coming this week, or is there like anything just different? Pods, pods, all pods mm. so far. Oh, pods. Tenacious TX, what's up, brother? Thanks for the donation. What's a pager? Laughing my ass off. Well, you are a little bit younger than us, but I wish I still had one of my old pagers. Oh, like, like, you were balling. You were balling <laughs> back in the day. If you had a pager, you were balling because you oh, had yeah. the pager, and once you got page, you had to find a payphone on yeah. the corner. <laughs> yes, yeah, you know? did. Dude, I can remember being out back in the day getting paged and seriously bad on the streets and having to stop at like a little store <laughs> and hope I had some quarters on me to drop in that phone real quick. <laughs> Man, it'd, everybody. Always be, it'd always be someone to page you for no reason just to see what's up. <laughs> exactly. The best was everybody when they see you with the page, what are you, a drug dealer? Exactly. <laughs> yep. Dude. Oh, man. I know this is really going to sound bad. I used to buy pagers like I do phones now. When the latest and greatest pager would come out with some new little shit on it, I'd be going to buy that damn thing. And I was like, yeah, that shit's cool. Look, you can do this and that on it. Yeah, I'm showing my age now, so I better shut up. But I remember the, the last one that came out. The one, last one that I bought was the Sidekick. Remember that was the one you flipped up and it spun around and then they had one that just flipped straight up and had yep. the keyboard? Hell yeah! If you had that shit, you you were you were doing real good. <laughs> uh, thank you again, Stan. He says, uh, "I know what a pager is. How old do you think I am? I don't. know. I just figured I got you beat on age, but I don't know, Stan. Even with that beard, you still look a little bit young to me. And maybe that's a compliment. Maybe it's not. I don't know." <laughs> Dripped out neck says ST was getting paid for them blunts. You damn straight. Mm -hmm. And the first cell phone was the one that came with the with that little case, the suitcase you had to carry around. The bag phone. phone I, yeah. Dude, I had one in my car. It was <laughs> that show. That shit wasn't hooked up or anything. It was just sitting in the car. <laughs> uh, I have the honeys in the car. Can I make a phone call? Oh my god, nah, not right now. You can't. Dude. Hell no. Trying to make excuses. I can't remember the excuses. But <laughs> I'd make excuses why they couldn't. But you think about it. Even back in the day, those bag phones, if you were to make a call on them, dude, it was expensive to make a call oh, yeah. on one of those things, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you tell people to call you after 7 when it was free? Hell yeah. <laughs> we actually had somebody that would hook them up. Um, so we'd be standing on the corner with the damn – you you swore you were – Man, you you were top dog if you had that suitcase and the quarter totally come out of it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, you know how many times I do it I'd be hold, I have the phone while I'm driving? You know, just like pull up the stop and <laughs> there and I'm acting like I'm having well, I'm talking to nobody. I'm just having a conversation with myself. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. My, um, everybody. And then after that it came the big those big gray phones. Yes, the big brick. The big one. Yeah, with the fixed antenna on top. Yeah. Yeah. I had one of those. <clears throat> Hell I didn't know yeah. what call, but I had one. Dude. Holy shit. So funny. Yeah, we've come a long ways for them days. Now it's a complete computer on the phone. You don't even need a damn computer at the house for anything anymore. Oh, man. Uh huh. Look at D Bone. He says, My dad had one. No shit, I never saw him use it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, I, I think everybody that had one, there was, it, it was very rare for one to actually be hooked up. Yeah. You know? Like I said, I got mine hooked up because we had a dude that did that. Uh huh. Yeah, that shit was I. Uh, Stan, he says, Y'all remember free nights and weekends? Yes, I do. Remember that shit with yes. the balls? Come weekend time, like it's 7 o'clock on a Friday, you can just start going to town for free. And then I think Sunday at like 9 or 10 o'clock at night, you had to shut that shit down. <laughs> it's amazing how back then, why were we getting charged that way? And now you don't. Yeah. It's like, what did they do different? Was it, is it 
more cell towers? I don't know. I don't understand. Uh-huh. Yeah. Or they just need to make that money? Because now everything I got's unlimited on my shit. So I, yeah. you know, it's. Remember the razor. Oh yeah. Funny enough, we sit in here. We sit in here at nights and go through YouTube looking for old phones we had and stuff like that. Because you can type it in YouTube. If it was made, somebody made a video on it. I don't care what it is. There's a video out there on it. So. Oh yeah. I remember the day. Charlie. I remember the day I picked it up from uh, AT and T or Singular, and I got the razor, dude. I was fucking excited. Holy shit. Oh hell yeah. I remember when. Let's see. Wasn't it like the. Uh, the very first one wasn't it look like a like a chrome plated one or something? Was that the first one or was the first one black? No, I don't think it was. The first one had the it was like a metal color, like a stainless color or gray or whatever. Okay, because the came out with the black one. That was the first one I ever got. Was the black one, and I remember getting that thinking, "Oh, I am the shit now." When I got that thing, <coughs> dude, next tells were the best, bro. Yeah, walkie-talkie, baby. Oh, I love yeah. that. That yeah. was fucking awesome because that solved the problem of making the phone calls. And I can, you know what I'm saying? But, you, you just, but yeah. uh, that shit was annoying, though. You know, I'd like fuck with people so bad. Oh, like, if I knew a friend was somewhere, whatever, I just start yelling like obscene things so everybody could hear. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember them commercials I used to have all the time on the next. Well, hell, Nextel used to sponsor NASCAR, so that you would see this shit all over the freaking yeah. place. But oh, yeah, Nextel still being used. Yeah, I think uh, Sprint bought them. Yeah. So for all y'all hating right now that we're not talking about vape shit, I apologize. But sometimes we gotta we gotta dig deep back into the past on some. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. I love if there, there's one thing I love, I've always loved the cell phone game. <laughs> It's fun to reminisce, you know, about oh, yeah, definitely. that kind of shit, you know, from back in the days. Shoot. I've gone through more phones than... How about this? So I remember, at least around my household, especially with kids, of having a landline phone. And everybody always fighting, trying to use the phone. Of course, when you got kids, you know, they're going to want to be on the phone more than anything. But, dude, when I finally got the family cell phones the landlines came out the house and it's like you got your own line you do whatever you got to do now but even at that we still had to watch what we were doing because back then it was still kind of new to where you know minutes being used on the phone even text and all that shit you had to be careful with that crap i have a landline and uh i know my phone number but i don't even own a phone Mm mm-hmm no, no. There's no phone in my house. I have on the phone number, but no phone f- to use it. Yeah. I think it comes out it comes out cheaper with your cable bill or whatever, yeah. you know, package deal you have that it's Yeah. The cable that you they automatically give you a landline. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know a lot of people now I think about the main reason left for having it is for like security systems at home. Mm-hmm. You know, so but I can't really remember being in anybody's home. I can't remember the last time I was in somebody's house when they had a, a working landline in their home. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, our church said it best. The phone in the kitchen with the, t- with the 10-foot cord. Oh, hell yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. How about this? If you, I mean, if you were into phones, we even started going to this extent. So when we had landlines, it was always trying to get the better cordless phone. You know, at first, and cordless phones were high. <laughs> they were high. And then they used to start selling them in the packs where you'd get like four or five of them or something, and they'd get all lost through the house. You never could find shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, I got bundled, baby. Mm-hmm. I just got bundled. But I tried, you know, canceling it to see if I could just save a couple of dollars. Cause I, don't use, I, don't have a, I don't even have a phone. It actually would cost more. So I was like, fuck it, just leave it. Damn, Tenacious says he's got a he's got a box of rotary phones out in the garage. I, bet, I hope you ain't still using them damn mm-hmm. things. Do you still remember your phone number growing up? Yep. No. 
No. I remember my phone number. My first phone number growing, growing up. I did not remember it. And I think it might have been maybe like, I don't know, a few years ago. Not a few, maybe like 10 years ago. I actually called it to see what would happen. <laughs> up on them. <laughs> oh man. Uh DC says this to use of the jitterbug. Damn straight. The jitterbug. Oh my god, why did I say that? Oh, the jitterbug. Oh, now for some reason Mark's got that tune stuck in his head jitterbug. and he was singing it before the show and we were I was getting a little violent there or was about to, but I was like the whatever. Jitterbug. <laughs> Yes, I remember when AOL was the big internet start. Look at everybody's putting their first phone number in. <laughs> yeah. Mine was 6310929. Everybody's going to start calling in these numbers now. I was 9256871 and that was before we used zip or area codes. Yep. We didn't have fucking 7. There was no area codes, but then 6310929. I'll call it up and ask if Mike Bates is there. Thank you. <laughs> Hell yeah. Get back with us and let us know on there. The jitterbug. Uh, the jitterbug. <laughs> what is a jitterbug? Well, it's a few things, but the most common thing it is referred to is the uh, the old people's phone with the big massive numbers on it so they can see it. And apparently, you still use that, right? I, I I do, but I I like to use this one when I can. The iPhone. Well, you got the big numbers set up on yeah. that, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> now now Mark does actually. Mark's got the yeah. big tech. So like, I remember like the first time I ever met Mark, and he was looking at a text on his phone. My shit's jumboed. And I was sitting next to him, and I kind of looked over at him when he was messing with his phone. He's got like two letters on the screen, and he's having to scroll through it because they're so huge. The jitterbug. Look at that. You can see that shit from a few states over. Hell yeah, son. Yeah, you just saw a message with ST Vapes talking shit about somebody. Who yeah. was that? Yeah. Uh, it said something about Mike Vapes. Thank you. <laughs> job, uh, thank you. Uh, the jitterbug. ST got that phone with his AARP card. You damn. Uh, Patrick, hold on now. See, I'm going to start calling folks out. Patrick, I know you're older than me. So, <laughs> Patrick, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to put Patrick on the spot in front of what? About 400 people right now. Patrick, you alluded to me that you were starting a channel up, and I haven't seen neither hide nor hair of it. Where's it at? Oh, I, f I forgot. I, f I was supposed to counsel him on the cameras. I mean, dude, when are you going to wait to do this when you're checking into the uh, old folks' home next week? Oh, snap. I mean, come on now, son. <laughs> uh, I, I would hang out on the party line, like, all day. I'd sleep on the phone. I'd wake up on the phone. I met so many women off the party line. Oh, dude, the party line used to be the shit. What about the 976 numbers? Do they still exist? I don't think so. I don't know. I never. How many times did you call nine seven six number at two o'clock in the morning, Mark? I remember when my cousin's mother went out of town, and we three weighed all the nine seven six numbers off his phone, and his phone bill was like two thousand dollars. Holy shit, was he in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, Damn, yeah. more than we ain't that old. <laughs> <laughs> This damn Grum says my wife says ST and Batman looks like Mike and Mark's dad on screen. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Dang. Damn. Yeah. Oh, thank you, by the way. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh <laughs> I love DC. He always loves to talk shit. ST's first phone had to crank his phone to connect to the switchboard. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh man, you know, speaking of that right there. We lost a great one today. Tim Conway died today. Who's that? You don't remember the comedian that was on the Carol Burnett show? Oh, I think yeah, I know who you're talking about. You Carol. would know him if you've seen him. Dude, you ain't that freaking young. I don't look, think I'm that old. Look on Google real quick. Dude, I ain't but a couple years older than you. Carol Burnett? Oh, my God. You don't know who freaking... Tim Conway. 
I think I know who that is. Yeah, you'd know if you'd seen the... Yeah. <laughs> Charlie says, that's T. had Velcro on his shoes and it'd be... And that's not because of age, that's just because I'm poor. Yeah, I never watched Kyle Burnett. I was, in, I was so, yeah. too young. Oh, this guy was still alive? Yeah, he was... I think he was 85, 86... I know there's a bunch of people that are younger that watch this show that are probably yeah, going. They don't know Cal Burnett. He used to watch Archie Bunker. Archie all, Bunker, all Seth and Son, uh, Benny Hill. Benny Hill was the fucking best. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Benny Hill was the best. Benny Hill was good. If for for all the youngsters out there, just uh, on YouTube, type in Benny Hill. Not now yeah. after the show. Yes. Benny Hill and just watch it. It was fucking just hilarious. Benny Hill was... He was a pervert. He was funny. For like, his, for the day and age that he was doing his shit, his shit was iconic. I mean, it was it was the best. Because it was even like... Back in that point in time, he was going over the lines of what people typically would do with comedy. So... Mm-hmm. Dude, what Benny Hill used to do the head thing. <laughs> the dude, he the was. Ball, the ball dude. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like anytime you mention Benny Hill, I always think of the uh, intro song. Yeah. Oh, that's all I think yeah. of. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Benny Hill was the best. Uh, but uh, I, I sorry, did. Mike. Benny Hill was crap. Hey, that's you. Yeah. People in there saying he was the goat. Dude. Now, I will say this, and we really have come to the conclusion, if you ever watched uh, Archie Bunker, Mark Fagan is the spitting image. He might yeah. not show it on camera, but off camera, that that's him. <laughs> he is Archie Bunker. Yes. Yeah. Every night when I, before I went to bed, it would be Sanford and Son, All in the Family, and then Benny Hill. How about the Jeffersons? I didn't, Jefferson, I like I didn't the Jeffersons. like for some reason. I don't know why. It's the only show I never really got into. Yeah. Dude, so many good shows back then. Yeah. TV's not like that no more. Now everything's about freaking murder and cops and forensic files and shit like that. I don't like the TV shows. A lot of the TV, majority of them, I cannot stand. Yeah. For one thing, there's too many reality shows. And I don't get into all that shit. Uh, yeah, there's only a few up-to-date shows that I would actually keep up with, but that's right, Church Meathead. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. The meathead. Mark hates Puerto Ricans the most. I heard <laughs> that's from Leo Barry. <laughs> I don't have any hate for anyone or any race. Thank you very much. <laughs> Man, that was quick. I thought he was going to come off with some crazy shit. Yeah. Well, I guess I need to retitle this show, even though it was the only title I could think of. The question. What was the question that nobody will ask? Oh, I just used that for a title. I thought it looked like a good one. That's why I always do it. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess I need to retitle it Reminiscing on Air. Uh, that's old. Hogan's Heroes and Gunsmoke? Wow, that's old. Yeah, I never watched yeah. this. Dukes of Hazard. Dukes of Hazard was a good one. Yeah. Well, I love back in the days, uh, Knight Rider, the A Team. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 MASH, here we go. So many good ones. I never got into MASH. Oh, I, I even that Barry mentioned MTV. I remember watching that shit, you know. Oh, oh best, best TV show, Jerry Seinfeld. Seinfeld. That was a damn good one. Fucking awesome. <laughs> k about to get shot. Oh, right. <laughs> Damn. I'm not even going to... King. I'm not even going to read that one. <laughs> damn. Uh, uh, damn. Westford says, ST be watching the new housewives of Orange County all the time. <laughs> Hell yeah. Did you see, see that Fresh Prince of Bel Air like movie or trailer? I watched the trailer and I just I can't get into it. It's I not, didn't care for the show. I thought the show was stupid. Oh man, I mean I I guess you're calling me stupid because everybody thinks I'm Phil from the show. Nah, you're so. cool, but I'm just saying like <laughs> I, I've never been a fan of uh, Will Smith. 
he's done a couple movies that I've actually watched, but yeah. he's too fucking goofy. Well, we've hit that eight o'clock mark. Uh, mark, would you like to uh, pull us up a randomizer? We've got some things to do from our lovely sponsors tonight. Again, quick shout out to Camelot and Brad's Vapor. Holy shit. I didn't know you were going to do all that. Yep, I'm on my webcam tonight. Now I can show everybody. Ah, we're going to do the showing. So again, as always. uh, Look how big he needs that chat. Hell yeah. How big that chat is out there. That is a... Yeah. That is a freaking. Uh, that is a sixty-eight inch monitor. <laughs> I wish it was sixty-eight inch. I could use a sixty-eight. And look how big his freaking icons are in there. And, um, you know the one show that stuck out above every one of them was fucking Martin. Martin, that show, that was that was that was fucking. Hot. But that's when Martin was funny. Everything after that. Just, what the hell was Martin? Martin. Martin Lawrence. Martin Lawrence. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good too. Martin and Gina. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was fucking. That was when he was really funny. Yep. Martin. Dude, they're making a new uh, Bad Boys. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I heard that. Yeah. And it's supposed to be real good. They're supposed to outdo both of the other ones. I loved uh, those fucking shows. The yeah. both movies, Bad Boys. Yeah, they were good. Martin. All right. So, of course, as always, this is going to be for U.S. residents only per sponsors. So, first off, Batman, will you give us a number tonight? And hold on before you give us that number. (laughs) Look, we're going to have two Batmans on the screen. (laughs) Uh, First uh, thing we're going to do tonight is from Brad's. He is doing a... uh, What is that again? Let me look it up. Let me make sure I'm correct. Uh, what do we got? He's doing the Joytech Exceed, that kind of larger pod system there. So, Batman, can I get a number from you? Let's go with 14 since today the 14th. There we go. Here we go. 14 is, as you can see, probably not. Nobody. Nobody. Go back, do it again. 14 is. Leo Barry. Leo Barry, there we go. Leo Barry. Leo Barry, there you go. Son. son of a bitch. Leo, hold your horses there. Uh, <clears throat> and from Camelot tonight, let me find out. He is doing the Soda Pop Shop line of e juice. So, Mike Vapes, can I get a number, please? 82, because that's uh, your thumbs up, or is that 82? Oh, nice. 82. 82, here we go. Do, 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 We got a winner. Big Red Vapor, Vapor Channel. channel. Mm, big there red. you go. If, you gotta, if you've actually got a Vapor Channel, there's just something to review when you get them. Congratulations. All right. All y'all need to do. <laughs> all y'all need to do. Oh, hold on real quick. Let me read this uh, donation of Tony Hernandez. Oh, he's, he's speaking again. Thank you for the donation there, sir. Here you go, ST. I finally got your money. <laughs> Damn. Well, thank you. Uh, all y'all need to do is contact me at stvapes72 at gmail.com. I need a photocopy of your ID with address, current address, and birth date on there. Get that to me, and I will get you handled. So we are done with that portion of all this fine stuff. It's fucking dubby. Here we go. Mike, you got anything on that? Yes. Uh, uh, Ambitions actually called me up, uh, apologized to me. <coughs> he knows he screwed up because when we had a conversation about the Reload S and he was telling me how fucked up that was, he knows that he should have mentioned that to me and he didn't. And I told him, if you would have mentioned it, everything would have been cool. He just, all he had to do was just be open and honest, and that's it. Yeah. You know? And uh, he apologized, uh, so... I'm still pissed, but whatever, it's over with. But he did say that he really enjoyed. He was actually laughing at the big fucking Debbie thing. Yeah. But it was funny, so. Um, 
Batman, what you got coming up? Anything? Uh, not sure yet. I don't. I don't have anything in an order. Um, I have to go. I got some. I got a couple videos recorded that I actually did. Um, towards like the end of last week before everybody started rolling in, so I actually got to go through the emails of the order of the way the company sent me those things. Um, but I got I got a couple things. I know I got this coming up. This I actually because this is one of the things I've been holding on for a while. So I actually got to finish uh, editing and rendering, and this should be up tonight. If not, I just leave it for tomorrow. Gotcha. Yeah, because you roll out on Sunday, right? Yeah. Yep. How are these uh, two week deals treating you? Oh man, lovely, lovely. I, I'm loving it, man. I'm loving. It. I'm ready to go back to work. You know, it, it feels good. Like before, I felt like overwhelmed just being rushed to go back to work. Now it gets towards like the second week and I'm starting to get back in that groove where I'm ready to be out there. Yep. Cool deal. It is what it is, son. Mark, got anything? Uh, you ain't even doing videos anymore, so I don't know to say if you got anything coming up or not. Show on Sunday, fuck you on Monday. And that's it. Review on... <laughs> Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, maybe, or Wednesday and Friday. Hold on now. So you're starting to kind of cheat the folks out of uh, review videos, it, it seems like now. Yeah, I'm not doing five a week no more. Fuck, they're four a week. Mm -mm. I even, you know, as much slack as I like to cut Mr. Mike Vapes over here, I don't think I've seen a video out from him today either. I was too lazy today. <laughs> yeah, some about... There was something about today, like I was in the kitchen, I fucking fell asleep standing up and I caught myself before I fell back. I'm like, holy shit. See, because I'm always, like towards around the end of the day, right before I get out of work, uh, you know, I'll kind of look through the uh, YouTube files real quick just to see what the guys have put out. And, you know, I know I'm always going to see Mike on there with something. Mark, typically I do. And then I'm looking today, I'm like, damn, I don't see anything from either one of these dudes. What the hell's going on? I and shot my slide today, but I'm uploading it tomorrow. I try not to do, like, a video. And that's what Mike's been doing all day. He's, Mike's, been playing, <laughs> Mike's been playing with top caps all day, so. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, and I won't reveal it unless he has already and I just didn't hear him. But I think he's got something special coming up tomorrow. Yeah, I'm actually recording the video tomorrow, the presentation video. I could go. have recorded it, but uh, last week or before the event, whatever, but uh, the uh, units that they sent me, I wasn't satisfied with them. So they fixed some issues. There was some stuff missing out of the packaging. I wanted to have the complete thing. Plus, I didn't feel like there was a rush to do a video anyway. Yeah. So even though there's already, I think, like, I think there's like a couple of videos up from a couple of little uh, UK channels and some, uh, I can't remember the name of the channel. Somebody here in the States got one too. Yeah. Well, Tofa let a few of those kind of slide out there, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. And they shouldn't have sent those to tell you the truth to anybody. They should have waited. Yeah. Uh, yes. St Stephen Garlington. Those are all conversion caps. These are three, the three conversion caps right here. We have the, uh, Ultim. The uh, dark frosted and the light frosted one. Nice. Yep. They're going to be sold just like that without a build deck. You just buy the caps if you want. So you're kind of doing those like the original recurves then. Yeah, it's all it's all the same uh, body style as the original conversion cap yeah. recurves on everything, but it's 24 millimeter instead cool. of 22. Well, there you yep. heard it. And... Uh, there's a <clears throat> actually did a little single coil action inside there, four millimeter coil. I'll be showing that in tomorrow's video, so people could see it with a single coil. But there you go, a little sneak peek. Sweet. Now I haven't even asked you this yet. Have you actually tried one with a single coil? Nope. So that'll be no, because it's for me it's a dual coil. But just like the Rebirth RDA was a dual coil RDA, when people did singles in them, so yeah. Yeah, but uh, I'm sure people probably 
I'm gonna want to do a single big coil. The thing with this is that, you, see, like this coil here, that's a, a four. That's a four millimeter. You could actually fit two of them in there. Oh you yeah. Fit two fours inside here. I mean, two two threes. You could see how two threes look. There's like plenty of room. Yep. Cool Love deal. It. Yeah, I'm ready to try that one. Um, I guess that's about it. I don't think there's anything else. Uh, tomorrow, don't forget. Heavy Metal Vapor, never heard of them, of course. And then Thursday night, the Vape Team. Uh, and then Sunday night, back with us again. We'll be down a guy, though, because uh, unless... Unless Batman's gonna do it from his private jet when he's flying down to the rig, I don't know if he's gonna. I don't know. A lot of times he didn't want to grace us with his presence because I don't know if, if the uh, if the Wi-Fi in the G5 is kicking all that good, which it should be. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, I guess it'll be a little bit before you return back with us on yep. Sunday. But I appreciate you coming on tonight, man. Yeah, and. No I know he probably doesn't want me to do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. I will give him big prompts. Uh, as you've seen, the header for this show was done up by my man here. I do appreciate that. Uh, he is very crafty with that kind of stuff, and uh, he hooked me up with it. So I do appreciate that, brother, as always. No problem. You're welcome. And... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, if y'all got about three thousand dollars, he'll get you set up. So just uh, con that's a good that's a good deal. Yeah, contact me first, and then I'll get you set up. So, <laughs> <laughs> but with that being said, we're gonna get the hell out of here. As always, thank you for joining, and we'll catch y'all next week, or pretty much every damn day of the week. But and then Mark, I got one thing to say to you. And I've been holding to the end of the show.